Hi everyone, uh, to my assembly language tutorial. So we were talking about the Hello World program and in my previous movies I have shown how you can use constants and instructions. Now one more thing that uh, remained uh, for essential concept to understand the Hello World program is that declaration. Now declaration means it's, it's a statement to the microprocessor uh, which describes what type of data we'll be using. Now let me give you an example here the statement string this one it is a declaration length it is a declaration now it's not like you are defining a variable or something like this what you are telling actually this is the data part um, that the microprocessor will understand and you are leveling with the name string so when you refer a string out here say in the move so it will be referring this memory location so there is uh, no such variable type thing you have to handle it by your own so if you make a mistake in string so maybe, maybe the assembler will ask you for a warning but uh, if you have some other versions of assembly if the previous version of NSM they will let you through but your program won't run correctly so be careful when you are giving some labels and then you have length so this is a label remember this is a memory location okay now we don't know the memory location what can be so to uh, represent the memory location we use this levels and remember these are instructions declarations are a, a special type of instruction so let's take a look and what they are and how they are so it starts with a D in for declaration D stands for and they can be followed by you know B for bytes so if you want to have some data with bytes so you can call DB and if you want to have some data with words so you can say DW if you want to have some data with uh, double so you say DD and if you want to have some quad you can say D DQ so and the sizes are byte for one byte w for two byte d for four byte and q for eight bytes now let me sh sh show you here so here db so what i am doing actually i'm telling see this is one byte this is one byte and this is one byte so when we put data with um, you know a comma so it keeps on fetching the data as byte so when we refer to strings it will uh, interpret the data as bytes means one byte it will take if we would have uh, have to declare some big uh, numbers so we can say number that's for um, leveling the variable then we can say d uh, qual I want to qual then I say uh, this number so this is how you declare variables and if we want uh, something else obviously we can write something else saying uh, q or say b and then we say 6 in the byte then a 7 then 8 so this is how it goes on you uh, write them and you separate them with commas and you say 5 so this basically reserves uh, or creates a 4 byte data with 6 in the first byte 7 in the next uh, 8 uh, the next in the third byte and in the fourth byte it have 5 so this is how you do it uh, let's save it again and let's back to the slide again so here you have and now you have some options with it it can start with a rest keyword or a e and q or a i and sabin now they have several meanings rest for it is reserved okay so it can't be accessed from the outside of the program and i and sabin well it's a nice thing it includes totally a binary file maybe a audio file maybe a image file anything and it's also e and q that's something that equals to it that means the content you're writing that never changes in the throughout the assembly so if i take a look at them so it's a length e and q and then 13. so actually what i am doing out here 
I'm just uh, this test assembler to replace the E and Q value with 13. Uh, uh, so yeah, I mean replace the length value with 13. So whenever it says length, it will change it to 13. So 13 here means the length of our string. So if we count, I uh, say okay, hello, there is one, there is uh, um, five, five plus one a space for the one. So 11 we have and two more bytes out here. So we have 13 bytes and we are passing that value in the DX register. So in my next movie I will tell you how this uh, line of instructions works. Um, so stick, stick for the next movies and if you have missed the previous ones uh, please go there in my channel you will get the rest of the tutorials. So hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and stick for the next one. And thanks for watching this video.